All right, so today we're gonna change the alternator on my BMW 328. It applies for all N20 cars, so like 328, 428, 528, and 228s, and like the X3s, I think. Here's my alternator, and first you're gonna start off by removing the battery. Well, not removing it, but I'm bolting it, and then I also have this here, because I wanna have the trunk open while I'm doing all this, and I don't want it to accidentally lock. And then I can't open it, because the battery's not gonna be plugged in. So you just twist this, and it's not open. And now we're just gonna disconnect the negative cable. Now I'll do that right now. So the bolt on there is a 10 millimeter, just to show you guys. So I put a towel on there so I could leave this laying on it and it won't get any power onto the negative side. All right, next is to unplug all these hoses from the intake box. And then loosen that clamp, take this clip off, and then just pull the intake box out of these grommets. Next, to take that clamp off so we have more access to the tensioner that we're gonna have to loosen so we can get the belt off the alternator. All right, so next step is gonna be to put a socket on here and twist to the right. So you lose the tension off of the, the belt. So uh, you, you see this hook right here, right there on the left, right here. You're gonna have to line that up with the hole that's right over here, if I can show you. See where I have the Allen key at? Right there. We're gonna have to line that up once we move that little part right there. And we twist to the right. All right, go. Go, 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 go. Here's the loop. I think I got it, bro. Let go slowly. That's it. It's not going anywhere, right? No. Yeah. Let go. There. So as you can see, it is stuck there and it's not moving and the the belt is loose now. But you see that's where I got an island key and it's holding it right there. Now I just gotta loosen the belt unhook it off the belt and then get those two bolts that one and that one right there on top and that and then the bolts on top where the connect the positive cable is on and then there's a connection right there we take that off and the alternator should slide out to the top right here you got it so now we're going to use a i believe this is a yeah e12 it looks like a star and now we're gonna loosen the alternator bolts. Okay. Right I'm gonna loosen the bottom one right here. All right, so now we're gonna unattach that and then there's a clip right here. You just press it in and it should just slide out. Yeah, see, just like that, get that out the way. And now all we need is this bolt with a positive and we should be able to slide it out. So this one right here is a 13. I don't know why it's a weird number. But as you can see, the alternator is loose. Take the rest off by hand. Now this should just pull right off. 
like that. Now hopefully we can just pull the alternator out the way. So see us now we got the alternator out. It's right here. And we all we did was unclip this one right here that goes right here. We pulled it out the way so then we could pull this out the way like this. I've seen some people disconnect this, but I couldn't disconnect it and I don't want to break anything. So I just left that connected. And I just unplugged that. And just pull this out the way. Someone my friend was helping me pull it this way. And we we're just able to take it out. All right, so we got the alternator in. I did end up disconnecting this part. You gotta press this in, like right here, press it tight, pull up. Also disconnected there, like I said. Here, now we gotta tighten the torque spits again. And then put everything up here together. And then that's when I'm gonna show you how to do the belt. So I put the, the negative thermals here. They give you a new bolt. So you don't ever use the old one. They give you a new one. And don't forget to reconnect the alternator. Uh, hold on. And I also need you also need to reconnect this one if you unplugged it. So I'm gonna do that now before I forget. And that one clips in. There's the. That's the intake one. Where's the alternator one? Oh. Oh, the alternator one fell. So the alternator one is blue so just make sure you put it in right the flat bottom goes the flat part goes on the bottom you hear it clip in and then just clip in this the intake tube also all right so now i got that plugged in all the sensors plugged in i got attached this one connected it alternators connected reconnected this intake uh one and now we're gonna lose, we're gonna uh, untension that. Well, first you gotta make sure you put this over first, and then we're gonna untension that. All right, so when you do this, all you gotta do is re-tighten it. So you would go to the right, which is down. And then once you take off it, like whatever you put there to hold it, which I had the Allen key, and then you slowly start letting go to the left and just make sure everything's aligned. And as you can see, everything's back. And this is tight again. Now it just got reassembled and take. So make sure this this clicks in. It goes all the way. You're gonna hear it. You'll hear it once it clicks in into this little gap. And then just tighten this. And then you need the top part also. All right. So now that's in. You just gotta make sure you slide this onto there. And then line up also these these grommets right here. So now we're just gonna clamp this. Reconnect your sensor that you unattached. Yeah, connect that, and now I just got a line. Oh, Hold on, make sure, lines. make sure this goes under. So this goes on first. I'm gonna have to pick up that clip I dropped, and then you connect this, and then we got to tighten the clamp. All right, so everything's back there. Sensors in. I tighten that. Make sure you put this hose back in these clamps. Uh, I make sure everything is reconnected. Now all that's left to do is reconnect the battery and hopefully it starts. The battery is uh, attached now. Now it's time to turn on the car and hopefully everything works good. All right, so now it's time to turn on the car. Hopefully everything works. So far everything good. Looks like we're gonna have to reset all our features and stuff. As you can see, it shows uh, no time, no mileage, and I might have to redo my radio station. That's it. Working good, nothing's loose. That, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment and see what other kind of videos you guys would like to see about my car.